Last minute preparations are on for the Ondo State Governorship election, which will take place in five days. Who will be the leader that will steer the affairs of the state for the next four years? The military says it will deploy between 200 and 300 soldiers to the coastal areas which have been identified as hot spots. Now, TVC News correspondent Ayo Deji Muradeo joins us now from Akure, the state capital. Thank you so much for joining us at this point. You have been in the state for quite a long time, of course, covering the elections. Tell us about the general mood of the people, especially with, uh, uh, with the issue of insecurity there. Yes, uh, the people are ready to come out, to come and cast their votes for the candidates of their choice on Saturday. But the high rate of violence is creating fear uh, in the minds of many of these uh, to be voters because uh, in the last two, three weeks, violence has been the order of the day in Ondo State, uh, most especially between the People's Democratic Party and the All Progressive Congress. Uh, we have casualties, uh, houses, um, uh, cars have been uh, smashed, uh, and these have continued to create fear uh, in the minds of the people. 17 political parties will be contesting, we'll be uh, slogging it out on Saturday, but the crisis is between the two major political parties, the PDP and the APC. But what are, uh, what is the are the police doing to ensure that uh, we have smooth election? I have mm -hmm. the spokesperson of the State Police Command, Mr. T. Leo Ikoro, here with me. Mr. Ikoro is here. Mr. Ikoro, the violence is everywhere. What is the police doing? What are you doing to ensure that we have uh, an each free election on Saturday? Thank you for having me. But I think that you're also creating fears in the minds of the people because there's no violence for now. There's mm -hmm. few places we have skirmishes. We've been able to arrest the situation, arrest those involved. So I don't think that uh, there's violence anywhere in Ondo State for now. It should be improper for you to say for the past three weeks or so there's been violence everywhere. There is none. Where we did have any or suspect any to, to come from, we've sent our men and promptly they've, they've put the situation under control. So there's no violence. But however, you could expect this is a trapping of the kind of politics that we play in Nigeria. You don't expect that to be completely devoid of miscreants. No political grad gladiator will engage himself with another person because he wants to win an election. But they also have youth trainings that are crazy about their happiness. And sometimes they create this problem. But on the whole, on those state is very, very cool waiting for the election to take place on Saturday. Okay, Mr. Ikoro, I, I want, want to, to remind, remind you now. now. In Obakoko, there was a clash. Vehicles were destroyed. Also, uh, two, uh, just last week in Ikpeliowo, we saw what happened there. Violence everywhere. The governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party was there, and uh, it led to an attack. Vehicles were also vandalized. And just yesterday, in Obala area, two persons were shot. And you're saying that there's no violence. We are trying to create fear in the minds of the people. How do you make, what do you make of this in, in three attacks? I said it before that you don't say you would not expect some trappings of violence in our kind of election and electioneering campaigns. But what is important is that the police in Ondo State, once that is done, we moved in immediately and see that the situation is arrested. In Obakoko, some people were arrested for that violence clash. In uh, Ipele, we also had some arrests and prosecution is right on. Yesterday, the one you were naming was just something between some few youths, and no one was killed. No vehicle was vandalized. It happened about 10.45 in the night. And before that happened, we already had the information. So the, our men was right there on, on time. When they saw that we were there in our great numbers, they dispersed severally on their ways. So there was no violence that had anything to do with destruction of property yesterday. There, was, there had been no violence. The one you're talking about was something that happened. And we promptly arrested those that were culprits. And prosecution, everyone knows, is out in the court. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ikoro, for coming. Uh, that has been, uh, that has been uh, Mr. Ikoro, the spokesperson of the State Police Command. And as, uh, he has assured the people from those states that the police are up to the task to ensure that there is an each free election in Ondo State. Over to you, Veronica and Theophilos in Lagos. Uh, I, uh, we do hope that uh, this uh, assurance coming from the police spokesperson would ensure that people turn out for the elections mm. on Saturday. Thank you for bringing us up to speed.